This video was made possible with funding from the Fund for the City of New York. What is GIS? GIS is like Google Maps on steroids, right? It's a computerized mapping system, right? The GIS is a geographic information system. So now what happens when you can take these wonderful ideas about overlaying data and doing statistical work, a large N, larger than most people can even imagine, your statistics become fact. And so GIS was a way to work with all that in a much more integrated decision-making environment. Without it, we're just looking at, you're just looking at numbers on a page. I want a map that is intelligent, that is on the computer, that we could just look at the whole sewer system and the water system. We were approaching communities and communities were learning about it. Some of them didn't think they wanted to convert to GIS. They liked their paper maps, but then as their neighbors were implementing GIS and being able to log into an application and get to see all of their infrastructure in one spot, more communities became more interested. How has GIS evolved? So when we started um, the raster pixel resolution, the smallest area that we could look at was one acre in size and uh, so one acre chunks of the park and uh, when we wanted to run an analysis or uh, do a view on the screen um, and the computer it was one of those proverbial stories where the computer filled up most of a small room and uh, but we would uh, get the monitor going to refresh the screen and go down and get a cup of coffee. The base map gave a common identity to all that data, at least in one field. And on the basis of that, you could have a municipal enterprise data integration across agencies. And it was, wow, that's so cool. You know, we could save so much money. We could save so many lives. We could be much, so much more efficient if we are able to do that. And we did it. That is the key, because in emergencies and things like that, they want to find it quick and fast. And, you know, instead of having to sit there and get out as built drawings or trying to measure things all out, they can actually go in with a GPS receiver and put it over top. And, I mean, within seconds, you know, you can be like, boom, there, I'm on it. What does the future hold for GIS? I think there's a lot of opportunity now for entities to begin much closer to the starting line. So they don't have to invest so much in data because there's a lot of data available. They don't have to invest so much in software because there's a lot of great open source and online tools that they can use or simple implementations that they can take advantage of that don't require such a significant upfront investment in cost. The use of the cell phone and, and other smart devices out in the field with GPS, uh, that seems to be a revolution that will empower all municipal workers, all government workers, all private sector workers, all citizens to collect data to receive data, to be sensors, you know, for critical kinds of things that uh, we need to monitor in the environment, like air pollution. For more info, visit nysgis.org.